Hello, this is Jo and this is the fourth video in the Cellini Spiral Bead Along by Cranberry. So today I'm going to show you how to do one of the decrease methods. Uh, apologies, my bead mat is already a little bit messy. So <laughs> Actually, it's usually messier than this. I've just poured the beads out and they've already moved around. So we won't worry about that. I'm actually using a different bead surface, which has got a bit of spring in it, which don't ask, don't ask. Anyway, what we are going to do today is see these two rows of, sorry, to these two stripes of metallic pink beads. We are going to get rid of one of those. Now, it doesn't matter if you haven't got two stripes together, you could just as easily get rid of one of these rows, okay? It doesn't really matter. But if you want to take out one of your rows, this is how we are going to do it. So firstly, we need to bead around, and what we're gonna do is, see there's a, a stripe either side of the 15s with the pinks. So we're gonna take one out on either side on the same row, okay? So I'm conveniently at the end of a row here. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm sure those of you that have been beading the Cellini have mostly figured out how to figure out where you are. If you put your work down and pick it up again, if you obviously don't have the thread coming out of the right hole. So you finished off a thread and put it down and then picked it up again, okay? So as we go round, I will show you. But if you're looking from the top and you've got two beads of every stripe showing, then you know you're at the end of the row, ready to start the next row. Okay, so we're gonna kick off and we're coming out of a six. So we go into a six. This is a slightly tricky beading position for me today. I changed the setup and I don't think it's for the better, but we will carry on. I've had the six and the three eights. And then I and the correct colour of the greens, which I've more than once got mixed up. Okay, so now we're on the pink stripe. So I could have decreased either side of this, but what I'm actually going to do is decrease between the pinks. So normally there would be a pink set in this gap and the next one would be set in this gap but I'm just going to skip this one so no bead on the thread just go straight into the next one okay now you can just about see the thread but that will close up as we go around okay and now we carry on as usual so we're coming out of a pink you pick up a pink, go into the next bead. Let's continue round. Move through the fifteens. to the 11s and now we're at the pink again okay so I'm going to do exactly the same as on the other side no bead don't pick up a pink go straight through the next one okay and because there's two stripes coming out of a pink 
pick up a pink. Oh, let's carry on round because the next row is just as interesting. end of this row so I step up if I can in one go through two sixes so at the end of each row I tend to like flatten that little bit there and it helps it sort of come into shape okay so here we go next row First the six. And the eight. And on to the eleven. Now, what do we do here? Okay, where do we go? So, the thing is, this is the bead that you want to go in, okay? Because there would have been a bead here, but it's no longer there. Okay, hope you can see that. That bead is missing. So we don't go into this one, we go straight across into the pink. So from this point onward, there'll be only one pink stripe in your round. Okay, if I turn that over, you can see that. You give it a pull and there's a little bulge there, but overall you just really won't see that. Okay, then we go back to our rhythm, coming out of a pink, pick up a pink. Continue on round. the 15s and back to the 11 so here we are again same on this side a bit harder to see maybe I'll put it to the outside I'm not sure if that's even maybe if I put my finger behind it there we are okay so there's quite a long gap you're trying to aim for this bead here the pink bead to go into next okay so what you need to do is give it a bit of a tug and it will close up the gap. Let me just show you that. Okay, and it pulls it in. If you don't pull it in, it will be gappy and it won't actually get smaller. Okay. So let's keep going. So once again, you're coming out of the pink pick up a pink. So if you're using the method of decreasing by removing a bead, you can do this at any point. You can do it with the 15s. You can do it with the 11s like we just have. You can do it with the 8s. Um, there, I, I, I wouldn't do it with the sixes. The best way to get rid of the six is to change it for an eight, okay, which is the other method of decreasing. It's not the same as this. I can demo that another time, but I'm not at the point of 
doing that at the moment. I've had a bit on and I'm not as far as ahead with my Cellini as I would like, but at least I'm beading, hey? Which is the whole idea of a bead along. Keep you beading regularly. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And you just keep going round. If you refer back to the other video, that gives you hints and tips for when to, how to space out the decreases. That will help you decide how much to do before you do the next point. Okay, so you just have to manipulate this a bit over the, the decrease point. Goes a little sort of puckery, but do not stress. Do not stress each little bulge and pucker. This is how it is. My others have this. Okay. Looks like that's sticking out there, but it'll pop back in with the next round. So that is it for now. So, mm. Once you're happy with the length of your middle section, you can do this decrease at this end and then also at this end as well. Okay? You decide how, much, how big your middle, middle section is. You do a decrease on one end, decrease on the other. Then decide how much more you want to do. I don't know how, how much I'm going to do. I will just see what it looks like. Yeah, I think you need to do a good spiral after your first decrease, just to see the effect of it, okay? And this won't be a huge effect. What will be a big effect is if you swap out the six for an eight. And I may do that next, or I might get rid of one of the eights. I have not decided. Okay, that's it for now. Please post your updates in the Facebook group. I love seeing all the photos. I love seeing all the different beads you're using, different sizes. And uh, if you had put your Cellini down for ages and you'd started to decrease and didn't know what to do next, this will get you back on track to get it finished. So I'd love to see lots of Cellinis finished. Okay. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video.